Starting out day one, going through some aspens. Just left the parking lot. Gonna go to Bishop Pass and then on Junction. Oh man, whoo, a bit buggy here. You, John, me, Brian. Lots of bugs, lots of fish jumping. First little waterfall. Taking a snack break. We're gonna go over there. Making our way up Bishop Pass. Palisades. It's kind of slushy. It's July. Still a lot of snow up here. Yay! Top of Bishop Pass. Made it. The warning sign. So, two bridges are out. Right here. Got a marmot on top of Bishop. Just looking around. Oh, that's a different guy. Is that a guy? Juicy Basin. Alright, heading down the river valley. Doozy Creek Bridge damaged metal frame. Warnings about San Joaquin River. Le Comte Canyon Ranger Station. Those things that make those woo, woo, woo. It's a grouse. I saw two little baby chicks over here with her. He's coming right now. Day one is complete 16.9 miles. Day two, that was our campsite. We got Yi heading out, she's raring to go. We gotta go over our John Muir Pass, and then it's downhill, and then we gotta take a detour because the bridge is washed out, and people are saying that the uh, river is too strong. It's up to chest high, and it's super fast. And not to attempt it, people have been rescued recently. So, we have some people that are even shorter than me, and we just don't want to risk it. Star Camp. First river crossing here. So we ended up crossing the stream. It ends up being a little bit wider, but shallower. A little further up. We're trying to get over there. It's where we crossed to get back on the trail. Right across there. Still didn't find a dry one, so we had to take our shoes off. 
but I believe we gotta follow the trail and then go up that way. Still heading up Muir Pass. That's the pass up there. Had to go across some snow. That's John going across it right now. Another ice tunnel. You walk on top of that, you can fall through and get trapped. Still a lot of snow. Different elevation, it's still a frozen lake in July. Still going over to the John Muir Pass. Helen Lake. hut. Top of Muir Pass. I'm about to head to the bowl on the other side. Still a lot of snow. Famous Muir Hut. So where we came from, where that hut was. Wanda Lake. This is the view from Wanda Lake. It's right here. Two miles and an hour from your path. And it's all downhill. What are you up to seven miles now or something? Six? Coming up on Evolution Lake. I'm gonna walk across these. There you go. <laughs> Evolution Lake. Down to the river valley in a green area. McClure Ranger Station. At the Aleutian Creek crossing, we didn't take the logs. It's pretty wide, but not that bad. We've got about two miles to go to the bridge that's collapsed since we're in camp. on the San Joaquin River. Just made it to the river floor. It's a little bit hazy from the fires. This is the bridge that's not washed out. And the other one's totally washed out according to them. Walking to the second bridge and scouting out campsites. All right, here was our camp last night. End of day two of seven, 19 miles completed. Here was our camp last night. Day three, heading out. Got John and Yee with us. We're gonna attempt to cross the uh, river with the bridge out. All reports done like it's gonna be better. Initially it was up to waist high and fast and now they're saying it's below the knee. This is where the bridge used to be. A bunch of mangled steel. Must have been pretty high to cause this to collapse. So we're hiking to the uh, detour. Everyone says it's 0.4 miles down river from the collapsed bridge. Let's see how it goes. Looks like there's a pretty good trail that people have burnt in now. So 0.4 miles down, 
this is what it looks like. I think the water is so much deeper. It, it We just crossed the San Joaquin on the other side now. Danger averted. Good thing I we had all the safety equipment we needed. Ended up carrying Yee's pack for her and helping her across, so I crossed three times. Up, oh, entering John Muir. It's a new sign. Coyote Creek Bridge. Muir Ranch. Hiking up to Sutton Pass. To a little flat area. Still haven't made it to the top yet of Sutton Peak, but it was an ass kicker. It's warm today. Get to another little plateau, still climbing. We're about 10,000 feet. Sally Keys Lakes. Lake number two. Yep. Heart Lake. Still climbing. Hopefully this is the last lake. That's the pass right there. I'm gonna go up to that gap. Right there. Finally made it to the top of the pass. Like 15 miles of going uphill. Selden Pass. Marie Lake. Camp for tonight. John cooking dinner. A bit buggy. Day three completed. 18.6 miles. Day four heading out with Yi and John. I'm gonna go to try to go to that peak where the sun is. Sandpiper Lake. Starting to climb the Seven Gables. This is actually the second one we're going for. So we took the wrong peak. Here he's over there. All right, made it to the top of Seven Gables. Third down, eighty feet. Yay! There's John. Here we go, seven gables. One line of them. <laughs> Can I come up here? No, go the other way where John went. Yay! Ah! <laughs> Do that again, ye. Ah! Sierra Club logbook. Starting our descent down from Seven Gables. Sky Pilot. 
Yeah, it's okay, it's not bad. Alpine Gold. On our way back from Seven Gables to our campsite. It's a mere flesh wound. Alright, the shadow of Seven Gables. Seven Gables is a 13,080 foot mountain near Marie Lake. Day 4 is complete 5.5 miles. I believe this is day 5. Alright, there's Mount Hooper with the Seven Gables shadow on it. We climbed Seven Gables yesterday. There's John eating his food. There's Seven Gables right there. It's going to be a beautiful day. Still buggy though. Breaking camp. I'm about to leave. It's about 6.30. Just left camp. Mount Hodges, Mount Agassiz. Going to try to make it to Vivian Ranch tonight by 4 so we can catch the ferry across. Marie Lake and Selden Pass. Back on the JMT PCT, northbound. Rose Lake Junction, pretty uh, stream meadow here. Seven Gables. Bear Creek water crossing. It's actually worse than any of the other ones we've been crossing. And <laughs> no one's really talking about it. Wait, do we gotta go, we gotta go right? Yeah, we go right. To the right, yeah. And it's got time. The Bear Creek Ridge climb. Starting to level out. Bear Ridge. It's pretty flat, looks like the ridge is over there, but we're just kind of paralleling it right now. Got off of Bear Ridge, across the Mono Creek, bridge now we're gonna hike about a mile to go to the ferry i heard there's free beer Woohoo! we're on a boardwalk going to the ferry boats edison ferry landing just left the uh, boat dog with captain paint here <laughs> about 35 minutes to bbr it's about 15 empty channel right here so it's good for us to run our boats dinner at vermilion resort brian yee a family and john dinner was chicken tri-tip beans slaw corn and potatoes i got so many bite on my head yes. over the past few days yeah, same here yeah, same here. yeah. yeah. Day 5 completed 21.5 miles. Start of day 6, leaving the, the ranch. Having a really good breakfast. Vermilion Resort. To uh, the boat ride across the lake, Edison. I'm going to start our hike. I'm going to go to Victoria or Purple Lake today. Me as our captain. Our crew we put together so we can get out early. Yee, John. Edison Lake. Temperature's not too bad yet. I feel sorry for the guys that have to start at 910. About to start our climb. Mono Pass, Selden, Silver Pass. Silver Pass, looks like a glaciated canyon, kind of like parts in Yosemite. About halfway up this pass, came across this waterfall. Right, first set of switchbacks to Silver Pass. We're getting higher up. I 
Haven't got to the lake yet. It's overpass right there. There's the lake. Almost. Just gotta go there. Silver Pass, 10,800 feet. There's seven gables. We climbed that yesterday. It's a 13er. Right there. And over here at Silver Pass, you can see Banner and Ritter. We climbed that last time. And right there on the right. Ah, mosquitoes. It came from up there. Nice little calm section of Fish Creek. You can see why it's called that. Hacking up some switchbacks. About five down there already. Climbed all the way up from way down there. It's like 100 switchbacks here. Probably like a million switchbacks. <sighs> Virginia Lake, Indian paintbrush. Animation here. Really different uh, landscape. Coming down to Purple Lake. Purple Lake. Day six of seven completed 17.5 miles. Day seven, headed for Red Meadows, going up Duck Pass. Had a little bit of a late slurt, my alarm didn't go off. It's about 7.10. Uh, you do what you can do. You already took off, John's behind me. Crater Meadows, Duck Lake, Purple Lake. Crossing Duck Creek. Got a JMT guy, or PCT guy, filtering water. Just got here as the sun's peeking over the hill. On a long traverse to Red's Meadow. Hiking through a dry section here. Finally got into water. Came across this whole loop on the field. A creek crossing here. A more green on the side. Mammoth Mountain in the background. Coming up on a red volcanic dome. So that's Mammoth Mountain right there. And it has all these red cones right here on the trail. Old volcanic dome. With the lava everywhere. And right here. And that one over there before, on the right. Reds Valley below us, coming up on Reds Meadow. Minarets, where we started. There's all kinds of Christmas trees everywhere. I guess in 1995 there was a fire over here. So the forest is coming back. Ferns and uh, currants and gooseberries are overtaking the trail. Walking through pumice right now on our way to Devil's Post Pile. Devil's Post Pile. You can see the geodesic shapes in the rock. To Devil's Post Pile from Bishop Pass. It's been a long time since I've been here. Trip is coming to the end. Right here at the ranger station. There's my truck right there. Looks like it's okay so far. Day seven of seven completed 15 miles. He treated us to watermelon. Back at Bishop Pass Trailhead. Total trip 114 miles completed.